Hello, I'm Angie Lomelli and I am an EMS instructor. I'm presenting you with a series of EMS educational videos. Now, whether you are a first responder, a student, or just someone simply interested in learning more about the wonderful world of EMS, these videos are for you. Now, the videos are made so that you may watch and follow along as well as practice while watching. Hopefully, you'll find these videos helpful during your lab skills and testing. Good luck with your venture, and let's get started. Performance Objective Students will demonstrate their ability to assess and treat an ALOC patient. Taking more than 10 minutes is a fail for this skill. Although rescuers are expected to wear gloves when contacting a patient, rescuers in this training video may not be wearing gloves. Conditions. The patient is unconscious, unresponsive, hypoventilating. The scene is safe. The drug administration will be performed on a mannequin. Equipment. EMS jump bag. PPE. Naloxone. Blood pressure cuff. Stethoscope. Mannequin. Standards. The standards are incorporated into the checklist to be used by the scorer. Today we're going to look at Narcan administration to an unconscious patient. Approaching the patient, I would go through my penman protocol. I would introduce myself. Hi, my name is Don. I'm an EMT. May I help you? I would assess the patient's level of consciousness and obtain vital signs. Student states, I would perform penman. Student states, hello, my name is... I am an EMT. I am going to help you. Student states, I would perform my primary assessment, determine LOC and respiratory effort. Student states, I would take and record vital signs. Naloxone is indicated for the complete or partial reversal of the opiate drug. I would obtain online or offline medical direction before administering the drug per my protocol. Contraindications for naloxone are a known hypersensitivity to the drug. Things that I would look for after administration of the drug include the side effects, which are agitation, tremor, seizures, sweating, hypertension, hypotension, tachycardia, pulmonary edema, or cardiac fibrillation. Student states, naloxone is indicated for the complete or partial reversal of opiate narcotic depression and respiratory depression secondary to opiate narcotics or related drugs. Student states, I would obtain medical direction either online or offline. Contraindications. Student states, naloxone is contraindicated in patients known to be hypertensive to naloxone. Side effects. Student states, side effects of naloxone include agitation, belligerence, tremors, seizures, sweating, hypertension, hypotension, tachycardia, pulmonary edema, and cardiac fibrillation. Before I administered the drug, make sure you go through the five rights of delivery. The right patient, in this case the unconscious overdose patient, the right drug, in this case Narcan, the right dosage, four milligrams here, the right route, the nasal uh, delivery mechanism, and the right date is indicated by the back. Five rights of drug administration. Student states, I verify this is the right patient. I have the right drug in the right dose with the right valid date. The right route is intranasal, IN. To demonstrate usage of Narcan, remove it from its container. Make sure the patient's neck is in a stable neutral position, slightly hyperextended. You're going to want to extend the neck slightly. Examine the nasal cavity for any blood or secretions. If there are any, make sure you try to remove them as best you can with a bulb syringe. At least obtain one clear nasal pathway. Then insert the injector nozzle into the nasal cavity, securing it with your fingers to get a tight seal and then press the plunger to deliver the drug.
student leans patient's head back slightly or lays patient flat as appropriate. Student inspects nostril for significant blood or mucus. Student inserts nasal applicator naloxone 4 mg, 0.01 mL into nostril. Student administers medication. After you deliver the amount required, make sure you dispose of it in medical waste properly. Then check the patient's vitals every 15 minutes if they are stable and every 5 minutes if they are not stable. You have 10 minutes to complete this skill. Dispose of medication appropriately. Student states, I would take another set of vital signs and reassess every 15 minutes if the patient is stable, every 5 minutes if they are not. You have 10 minutes to complete this skill. Make sure you document your findings in the PCR and transport the patient immediately. Student states, I would transport immediately and document 4.0 milligrams of naloxone delivered IN intranasal at time on the PCR. Thank you for your attention and we hope to be able to bring you more insightful videos in the future. This concludes your instruction. Thank you for watching Lomelli EMS Productions. I hope you enjoyed the training video. We look forward to producing more in the future. Remember, live for today, learn for tomorrow.